With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? A cord of negligible mass is wound round the rim of a flywheel of mass 20 kg and radius is 20 cm. Now, a steady pull of 25 Newton is applied on the cord as shown in the figure. The flywheel is mounted on a horizontal axle with the uh, frictionless bearing. Now, we need to compute the value of the angular acceleration of the wheel. Okay, so what is happening? So, there is a force which is applied 25 Newton. Uh, this uh, mass is given as to be 20 kg and radius is uh, 20 meter. So, first of all, what we should do? Uh, so, this would be a, we need to find the value of the axle, angular acceleration alpha. Okay, so first of all, we should find what is the value of the moment of inertia. So, I would be equals to because it would be essentially a disc. Moment of inertia of disc is 1 divided by 2 uh, uh, m r square by 2. So, mass is given as to be 20. Radius is 20 in centimeter. That means 0.2 meters. 0.2 is square divided by 2. So, moment of inertia value would turn out to be 0.4 kg meter square. Okay. Now, in the A part, we need to find what is the value of the angular acceleration. Now, due to this force, a torque would be produced. Okay. A torque would be produced and this torque would be causing the angular acceleration. So, we say that torque would be equals to, we know that torque, net torque is equals to I into alpha. And in this case, what is the value of the torque? It is due to the force. And what is the distance of the force? It is equals to the radius. So, these would be the perpendicular. So, the torque value would be equals to R radius multiplied by F. So, we write R multiplied by F. Now, if we substitute the values, so we can say that our alpha would be equals to R into F divided by I. What is the value of R? It is 0.2. What is the value of F? It is 25. What is the value of I? It is 0.4. Now, if we solve this, then our uh, alpha angular acceleration alpha would turn out to be 12.5 radian per second square. Now, this is the first part. Now, in the B part, what is asked? The work done by pulling, uh, the work done uh, by the pull when 2 meter of the is, uh, cord is wound. Now, if 2 meter of the is, uh, of this cord is wound, that means our force would be displaced by a distance of, which distance of? It would be displaced by a distance of 2 meter because this would be an inextensible cord. So, the uh, distance moved by each and every point would be same. Okay, that means what would be the value of the work done? We know that work done is, work done, work done is equals to force, force multiplied by displacement of the point of application of force. So, what is the value of the force? So, it would be equals to 25 and what is the displacement which is given? It is 2. So, work done would be equals to 50 joule. Now, in the C part, what has been asked? Also find the kinetic energy of the wheel at this point. We need to find what is the value of the kinetic energy at this point. Okay. Now, the kinetic energy of the wheel would be equals to kinetic energy of wheel, Ke of the wheel. This would be equals to half I omega square. This would be equals to half I omega square. We know the value of I, but we do not know the value of omega. So, using equation of motion in the basically uh, this circular motion or uh, this angular motion, we can say that omega square would be equals to omega naught square plus 2 alpha into theta. Now, if initial velocity is 0, initial velocity is 0, this system is at rest. We can say that omega square would be equals to 2 alpha into theta. That means our kinetic energy would be equals to half i into omega square. That means 2 alpha into theta. But we do not know what is the value of the theta which has been turned. So, theta would be equals to angle is basically arc divided by radius. Okay. Now, what is the distance move? That is, what is the distance move? Let us say from here, it comes to here. Okay, so, what is the distance move? That is, say it is 2 meter because each and every point would be moving by the same distance. That means the arc that it would be tra uh, traversing would be 2 meters divided by what is the radius? Radius is 0.2. That means angle would be 10 radian. So, our kinetic energy would then turn out to be 1 divided by 2 i into omega square. Omega square is what? Alpha into theta. So, we can put each and every value. So, it would then turn out to be, so this 2 and this 2 would be gone. I value is, uh, this moment of inertia value is 0.4 and this alpha value, so this and this term we can cancel, alpha value is 10 and uh, this value turns out to be, the theta value turns out to be 10. Okay, so let us, uh, uh, so, so this uh, answer turns out to be, sorry, we need to just uh, uh, take the value, correct value of the alpha, correct value of alpha is, we have calculated, computed alpha not as 10, but alpha is 12.5. So, here we should write 12.5, alpha value as 12.5, 12.5 multiplied by theta, this is 10. 
So this answer would turn out to be 50 joule. Okay. Now this is our C part. Now in the D part, what we need to say? Compare the answer to B and C. So if we compare the answer of B, it is coming out to be 50 joule. If we compare the answer of uh, C, it is coming out to be 50 joule. That means what does it mean? It means that kinetic energy gained by gained by wheel. So this is the kinetic energy which is gained by wheel. This is turning out to be equals to this work done, work done, work done by this is work done, work done by the force, by force. So that means because friction is uh, this absent, so we can say that energy is conserved. E even though energy would be conserved if there was uh, uh, friction, so we can say that it is essentially a conservation, conservation of energy, energy and uh, the surface would be there is no friction. So we can say that frictionless, frictionless surfaces. Okay, so hope you have understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.